Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. Today is Tuesday the 17th and today was a lovely, beautiful day today. Got this morning, um, got the dogs taken care of and so on and so forth, nothing real major. Went ahead and um, got that all done. Headed outside, got in the hot tub for a little bit like I do. Got a couple other things taken care of real quick and then I headed over to go pick up a uh, dog that I'm daycare setting for the first time. I met him yesterday on my back home from riding my motorcycle in the woods. And he's a little, he's, he's a young pup, a um, little bit puppy-like still, but should be fine. We'll see how he does. And I think she kind of said I could keep him overnight and stuff too, but uh, I don't know how he's going to do with the other dogs and whatever, so I'm planning on taking him back. So it'll all be good there when I pick him up. He's actually this little guy right back here. He just, he's adorable, but he is, he's, he's puppy. So he's trying to dig little holes and whatnot and stuff. So I got him. There, headed back home, um, chill out the dogs, so everything was going good. Got uh, a couple other things done around the house. Uh, nothing real major. Ended up having a piece of leftover pizza because I got pizza the other night, and the leftovers, I guess, are mine now, which is the only, virtually the only time I ever eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast for lunch, but if I have leftover pizza in the house, I will eat that for breakfast, kind of thing. So, knocked in a bowl of breakfast, or a uh, pizza for breakfast and stuff, and then. Uh, had one of the dogs get dropped off named Tater. He's an old dog that needs eye drops every morning and he also um, is diabetic so he needs insulin shots within 15 minutes of eating a meal. So it's kind of a pain in the butt because if you put down your food and he doesn't eat right away, <coughs> if you're not there to watch him, <coughs> you have to take the food away because you can't um, have him eat and then not get the insulin shot and get thrown it's, it's a pain in the butt. So um, she showed up with him and because they were running around and getting ready to go and everything else stuff, the dog didn't eat. So they brought me his food in a bowl um, covered in saran wrap. I tried a couple times, he didn't want to eat. Which usually he's pretty stubborn if he gets out of his routine. If he doesn't eat it by, you know, like 8 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock, you know, 7 30, 8 o'clock in the morning, so he don't eat till dinner time. So went ahead and it's all like it's chicken and there's um, green beans and carrots and all kinds of crazy stuff in it that I didn't trust because I've been in room bottom for room temperature and didn't trust put it back in the fridge and wait until evening. So I just uh, fed it to my great Dane, uh, Bruce, and Bruce seemed to enjoy it. He ate it all up. And then we hung around outside for a little bit. Everything was going good. No big deal. Um, decided to get some yard work done. So I got the yard mode, uh, moved the car and the truck out of the way so I could mow there a little better. And then I put it back and like an idiot, I don't know what I was thinking, I didn't really pay attention where I was putting it. I moved it. I put the Corvette back first and I had it way too far up the road, up, or up the yard away from the road. And then it made it too tight for me to get my truck in there. So now I've got them both squeezed in there barely, but they're really super tight and it's kind of paying the button. So it is what it is. But yeah, I went ahead, um, got the rest of the stuff mowed, got my new weed eater out, uh, broke it out. And I got the Eco uh, fully electric 56 volt uh, electric weed eater and did a bunch of weed eating because I hate weed eating. So I don't usually do it if I can't mow it and I can't kill it with um, like mulch around the edges and stuff. I just kind of let the stuff grow. So I ended up doing a lot of weed eating today, uh, which sucked because my arms were already super uh, sore. My shoulders up from picking the bike up out of the mud and stuff. And I that, just riding around the, in the timber, riding on those trails. It's a different uh, muscle set. You can just call it the arm pump. It's like your cat, your uh, forearms get really, really tight. And it almost feels like carpal tunnel, but up higher, not the wrist. Like it's a really weird feeling. So add that to the fact I got a vibrating, uh, you know, weed eater going and stuff the whole time and whatnot. And it's pretty heavy with the weight, the battery in the back, and da da da, whatever. And it's finished up and it worked. It was fine. It just, I, I was sore. My shoulders are, my, right now, my shoulders are super tight. Like I do this, it hurts like in my lats and stuff. It's ridiculous because just that lifting most, pulling that motorcycle out of the mud over and over and over again was a lot of work that I'm not used to moving that movement. So I am definitely paying for today. And I went to uh, pour uh, some water from like a half gallon jug into my water bottle and I was getting like muscle twitches. Like my whole hand was shaking and stuff. I was almost spilling the water trying to pour it into the, into the cup, into the bottle because it was just always shaking so bad. And it was just that muscle, you know, fatigue stuff and then all the vibration of the, the, the weed eater just kicking my butt. So everything was good there. I was like, well, I'm already all hot and sweaty and I'm all gross. I'm gonna go ahead and get my running in my shower. I'm uh, waiting for another dog uh, named Mouse to get dropped off. Hadn't heard from yet when they're coming, so I was like, I got time. Went and got my run done. Got back and yeah, for my run, I was covered in grass and I'm not all sweaty for my run. And I was getting ready to get in the shower and the lady pulls up with Mouse. And I'm like, what the hell, Mom? I'm like, shit, so I throw on a shirt real quick. 
go out there and meet her, and I was like, okay, I was, oh, I thought you were going to call or text ahead saying, she goes, oh, I didn't know, I forgot, da, 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 whatever, so that's no problem, but we got it just, I almost wasn't here, like, I was out on a run and stuff, you went to wait for me to get back, which, when I have a dog coming like that, I don't run, like, all the way to New Smyrna and back, like, I stay close, you know, I'm going to run long, I still just kind of run up and down my road, so I'm always within, like, probably 15 minutes of the house at any one point, and, you know, running the speed, so probably 10 is usually kind of where I stay in that range that worst case scenario if somebody did show up and they text me or my mom texts me I'd be like hey I'm 10 minutes out I'll be right back there now I will show up gross and sweaty as hell but I'll get back to it so it's not the end of the world so I got the dog inside the dog's kind of had a little bit of squabble because this little pup back here was a little bit not sure how to take um mouse the little uh, Boston Terrier who thinks he wants to be dominant so it was kind of interesting they got along pretty well I went and got my shower got out of there uh, my wife got home from work we um, had ourselves a nice little dinner, had some leftover spaghetti, watched some NCIS, and then it started to try and sprinkle a little bit, whatnot, not really bad, but it's trying to rain a little bit. And I had to go run this dog back home, so I grabbed, I texted her and said, hey, I'm on my, you know, want to make sure you're around before I head back. She said, yep, 100%. So I drove back over there, and the time over there was raining. Oh man, it started raining pretty hard. So I was like, no big deal. I, I texted my wife and said, hey, can you put my cushions up, my iPad, bring it on, so I sat it outside in my pergola, and she said, not a problem. So she threw her stuff in the house real quick, which was awesome. Got there, didn't really mount to nothing, didn't rain enough to make a difference there. Nothing really got wet, but I didn't want to take that chance. So, got back home from dropping this dog off. I hooked Mouse and Tater outside, put the little flashy lights on him, and hung her out there, had myself a nice little cigar, watched some you know, Hulu and some Prime, and just relaxed a little bit and just sore. Like, I'm actually, like, right now, you just hold this phone up here filming this. My arm is tender and sore from just holding this motion right here. It's just ridiculous how out of shape from the different muscles I use by dragging a bike out of the mud. It's amazing the different muscles you don't use all day every day how sore they can be when you finally do use them and i had to struggle the bike's not light by any means it's definitely not a 252 stroke by any means so it's much heavier now but anyway that's all i got for right now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day thanks for watching